I don't own a hairbrush. What's up guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Belle and before I get into the video, I just wanted to tell you that I post on this channel every Tuesday and every Friday. So I would love to have you join me in my little corner of YouTube and hit subscribe, stick around and join in the fun. Today I wanna to talk all about hair. Now my hair, I don't know how many inches it is, but it's long. I feel like my hair is so long that I am ready to chop it all off. And I wanted to make this video before I chop my hair in like two weeks. So this is how long my hair currently is for you to get a visual because I don't know how many inches my hair is. It's pretty long. I mean, this is my waist, you know, or hip or whatever bone is here. Yes, it is all my own hair, no extensions. My hair is dyed, although my roots are growing out. I dyed it darker. And then at the end, there's some blonde that's peeking through from when I had ombre in my hair or from when I actually used to be a blonde. I would say the past like seven years, I've let my hair go through cycles of growing it out really, really long like this and then chopping it all off. And I just find that there's like an adrenaline in the cycle. After I did that a couple of times, it started getting the same comment over and over again that my hair grew really really fast there are things that I do I just didn't realize that other people may not do them or that they are the reason that my hair is growing really fast at least I think so at the end of the day it could all just come down to genetics and the kind of hair you have these are just my little tips and tricks and I think that you might find some of them interesting number one I drink a lot of water. I know it's like not like a magical pill or supplement or something that I take. I do think that there's like science that backs this up. This is just something I noticed because seven years ago, I completely cut off all soda, essentially all liquids in my life, except for water and coffee in the morning. Now with everything, I guess there could be other variables, but I have just noticed that when I go through seasons of drinking less water where my intake isn't as good, I do feel like my hair is drier it's not growing as fast i don't know i don't know just me i actually love the taste of water i know a lot of people hate water but i love it i typically like to drink an entire water bottle i know it's not the most like earth friendly way i'm working on it okay first thing in the morning before i take a sip of coffee before i put anything else in my system i like to have an entire water bottle down and then I take about two to three water bottles with me to work that I drink and then I refill throughout the day then I come home you kind of get where I'm going I drink a lot of water if your body has enough hydration then that's going to be good for your scalp and for your pores in your head you know that was my little scientific bit right there tip number two this one might be a little bit more surprising I don't own a hairbrush and I haven't owned a hairbrush for four years I literally can't I cannot remember the last time I owned a hairbrush. Now, why don't I own a hairbrush, you ask? Well, this is kind of just the logic I came up with, but I mean, I have long hair, so maybe it works. I only own a wide tooth comb and I only comb my hair when I'm in the shower with conditioner in my hair, like drenching it. It is the only time I ever comb my hair or put anything through it. I do not comb it when it's dry. I do not brush it when it's dry. I do not brush it when it's wet. Now, this is because anytime I have ever brushed my hair when it's dry it breaks the ends like crazy now my ends are not doing fantastic and i'm gonna have to get it cut but they look pretty great for having been bleached and dyed several several times when it's dry and knotted i just keep it in a bun until i can shower and then i can wash it and comb it out so i know i do wash my hair almost every single day i know they say you're not supposed to but that's another thing that i've been doing for years but what i do when i'm in the shower is I shampoo first and then I go in with a lot of conditioner. I would deep condition my hair, the ends. So like from here down, I would deep condition almost every single day. That could either be with a mask or like I'll just take a lot of conditioner and like drench my ends and let it sit in my ends for the rest of my shower. And then combing my hair out is the very last thing I do. Now I don't just take my comb and I go through it. No, I take my hair with the conditioner. Sometimes I even put more on right before I'm about to comb. I put it under the running water and then I take the comb and I start from down and I work my way up. Why? Because if you comb from the top down, all you're doing is pushing all of those knots into each other and then your comb gets stuck right here. It's like a knot. It got huge because you're bringing it from the top all the way to the bottom. But if you work backwards and you start at the bottom, Bottom, and then 
you work your way up, not only does it go way faster, but you're tearing your hair less. You're being gentle with your hair. That is the only way I ever comb my hair. And that I do feel like has made a huge difference. It is the reason why I've been able to dye and process my hair so many times and have it still grow out long while not just like completely breaking off. And I just use a normal wide tooth comb. I mean, I got one at Target. I'll insert a picture of a wide tooth comb for an example. This is a tip I do very, very, very much so recommend. My last tip and the last thing that I do, it is one of my tried and true products. I use horse shampoo. I know that a lot of people have heard about this. Some people love it, some people hate it. I love this stuff. Whenever I use mane and tail, I feel like my hair just like sprouts. If I ever feel like my hair is getting thin, I use mane and tail and suddenly I have so many baby hairs. I've heard that it can be drying for some people's hair. So what I do is I use the mane and tail shampoo every single day. I really, really work it in and massage my scalp. After that, I deep condition my hair immediately from here down. And I think that's why I haven't really felt those drying effects of mane and tail. And you can find mane and tail literally anywhere, Walmart, Target, wherever shampoo and conditioner are sold in a normal store, you can find Mane and Tail. That's probably like my all-time favorite hair product. And to be honest, I'm not that careful with my hair. I don't use heat protectants. I don't ever get a trim. Like my rule to growing long hair is literally do not touch scissors on my hair until it gets to the length I want it to be. And I know that might not be what everyone recommends or everyone does or most people, but I just feel like I've done it a couple times. I been happy with my results. The fact that I get zero trims for years and manage to grow it long without it all breaking off, I feel like has to be a combination of these things that I do. I never comb it so I don't have that breakage happening. I drink a ton of water and I use mane and tail regularly. Hair is literally just hair and it grows back. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment down below if you have any tips or tricks or special products that you feel like makes your hair grow fast or really healthy. I would love to try some new things since I haven't really been the type to. I would love to get my hands on some product, test some things out. Let me know if you have any questions at all. You can follow me on Instagram and shoot me a DM there too if you'd like. If you liked the video, make sure you hit like and subscribe. Thank you so, so much for watching. I will see you on Tuesday. Deuce.